Assalamu alaikum. Let's study about the dangerous area of the face today. So this is a very important viva question that you will be asked in your first year and you should be knowing this even after that because it is an important thing. So let us proceed. So first of all what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a face and let's see if I can make a face. So this is the face, this is the ear, this is the eye. Okay. Now we will be studying a little bit about the venous drainage of the face means the veins we are having on our face so for this i'm going to make y so one is the normal y and other one is the mirror image of this okay now what i'm going to do if i bring this y close to this y it will be something like this so they are uniting in between now what i'm going to do i'm going to bring this entire dual y thing here right here okay so this is a rough diagram of the venous drainage of the face and scalp so here there will be two divisions of this and these would be the first ones the supratrochlear vein supratrochlear vein and this one is the supraorbital vein supraorbital vein all right then these two as we can see the united and here this thing right here here they form the facial vein they form the facial vein so the supratrochlear supraorbital they unite and they form the facial vein and here here also we have two divisions like this okay and this vein right here this is the let me change the color so this right here it is the superficial temporal vein superficial temporal vein why do we call it the superficial temporal vein because we have the temporal bone somewhere here all right so this is the superficial temporal vein the vein which is in this area it is called the superficial temporal vein now here we have one more vein and this is the maxillary vein maxillary vein okay now this superficial temporal vein and this maxillary vein they proceed downward like so and they form the retromandibular vein so this is the retromandibular vein retromandibular vein and then this retromandibular vein it divides into two divisions like so okay so this is the anterior one and this is the posterior one so it is called the this is called the anterior division of retromandibular vein first and the second one is the posterior division of the retromandibular vein okay so this anterior division it proceeds here and it joins the facial vein so it proceeds here and it joins the facial vein here and it continues downward and this is the common facial vein now we have the common facial vein i hope you can understand and this posterior division it unites with this thing right here this thing right here this vein this is the posterior auricular vein posterior auricular vein it is called the posterior auricular because it is behind the ear you can see here okay so the posterior division of retromandibular vein unites with the posterior auricular vein and then it proceeds downward like so this one this is the external jugular vein so this is the 
external jugular vein all right so let's have a quick recap so we are going to make two wires and one of the wires uniting as we studied okay so this is the structure so this has two divisions this is the supratrochlear supra trochlear this is the supraorbital supraorbital they proceed downward and here we have the facial vein so this is the facial vein we have the facial vein and then this is the superficial temporal vein superficial temporal vein now it proceeds downward and here we have the vein here this is the maxillary vein maxillary vein and these two they come together as one and this right here is the retromandibular vein retro mandibular vein and it has two divisions the anterior division and the posterior division the anterior division as we can see it goes here and joins here and it forms the common facial vein common facial vein and this posterior division the retromandibular vein it joins with the posterior auricular vein posterior auricular vein and then it forms the external jugular vein external jugular vein all right so this is the venous drainage of the face now coming back to the dangerous area of the face so the dangerous area of the face is the area which is drained by this facial vein so we can see this area right here this area right here which is drained by this facial vein this is the dangerous area of the face so what are these areas let us see in a different diagram so this is our face all right so and we saw that this is the facial vein here okay so it comprises of the lower part of the nose then upper lip and the joining cheek so we saw that this is the area which comprises of the lower part of nose upper lip and adjoining cheek that is the dangerous area of the face so why is it called the dangerous area because this facial vein which is here this facial vein it communicates with the cavernous sinus with two roots so what is cavernous sinus so if i draw the face let, let us see here only so if i divide the skull of this patient into three parts we'll have three divisions as so so this is the anterior cranial fossa this is the middle cranial fossa and this is the posterior cranial fossa so here in the middle cranial fossa we have a channel of veins means you can see a pipelines of veins so many veins are here and that is called the cavernous sinus cavernous sinus so this facial vein this one it communicates with this cavernous sinus via two roots okay the first one is through the angular or ophthalmic vein the first one is through the ophthalmic vein and the second one is through the deep facial vein the second one is through the deep facial vein okay so this deep facial vein first it joins with the pterygoid plexus of veins first this will join with the pterygoid pterygoid plexus of vein plexus and then it further will communicate with this cavernous sinus so these are the two roots by which the facial vein communicates with the cavernous sinus also the facial vein does not contain any walls 
so it does not have any walls and it directly rests on the muscles of facial expression so here we saw that we have some muscles of facial expression and this vein does not have any wall so when these muscles will contract so any infection which is present here or here in this vein or you can say infective emboli which is present here that can spread so there will be spread of the infective emboli from the infected part okay so they will spread and they will reach where via any of these two roots they will reach the cavernous sinus and will cause thrombosis which can be fatal so the infection will spread or it can spread and can cause thrombosis which can be fatal so that is why this area is called the dangerous area of the face so i hope this video was helpful and yeah before you leave don't forget to press that like button and do comment subscribe and share the video thanks for watching love is